Hi, I'm Tom Dick and I'm a math professor and math advisor for Texas Instruments. This short video is part of the TI in Focus AP Calculus series. We're going to take a look at plotting accumulation functions on the TI Inspire. This topic's motivated by the first question on both the AP, AB, and BC exams. It was a problem involving an escalator and we were given a rate function at which people were entering the line in people per second for the escalator. This rate function is defined here on STI Inspire page in an interactive math box. Now I've moved over to a graph page and we're going to go ahead and graph that rate function just to get a look at it and consider its properties. The domain of this function for which it is non-zero is a pretty large interval from 0 to 300. So I'm opening up the window settings. And the x min minus 10, I'll leave that alone, but let's set the x max to, let's say, 360. So we'll go beyond the part of the domain where the function's non-zero. And for x scale, we'll set that to 10. And for now, let's just go ahead and leave the y min and y max as they are here. So I'll press OK, and we'll get a graph of our function. And so each of those uh, little hash marks along the horizontal is worth 10 seconds and so our we've got a stretch here from 0 to 360 uh, you can see from 300 to 360 the graph is right at 0. Now the questions in this problem had to do with accumulation functions. For example we're asked to find the total number of people who've entered the line for the escalator during the time interval from 0 to 300 seconds. To do this, we're going to set up an accumulation function. Since it's related to R, we'll call it AR. And it will be defined in terms of a definite integral. So I've pulled up a template here, get our definite integral. And we're going to make the lower limit a parameter that we can change. So we're going to call that A. Our variable will be the upper limit of integration, X and we'll be integrating the rate at which people enter the line. That's our function r of t, and then we'll integrate with respect to t. So after we've entered these into this math box, that will define our accumulation function. Here we go, and that's done. And now we're ready to graph this function. So in F2, we'll enter our accumulation function, a r of x. And as soon as we've entered that, notice that what happens is we're prompted and asked if we'd like to create a slider for that lower limit of integration a. We'll accept the invitation and now we see the slider's been set up. Now we'd like to make settings for this slider that are appropriate. I'm going to go ahead and give it a value of 0 to start. We'll make the minimum value 0 and we'll go all the way up to the end of our interval 300. And I'll also make the step size on the slider match up with those hash marks along the horizontal axis. So we'll make the step size 10. And we'll make it a minimized slider. So it'll be just actually a clicker. And there we're set to go. In an appropriate Y range, we're going to use zoom fit, which we find in the window menu. And then that plots us a nice window that includes the smallest and largest values of our accumulation function. If I turn on the trace, I can now see a readout of the cumulative number of people who've entered the line for any time x. Our answer will be for x equal 300. So let's jump out to that value and see our answer of 270. Now suppose we wanted to know the number of people who entered the line from x equal 60 seconds to x equal 300 seconds. We can control that now by setting our lower limit of integration a to 60. So I'm incrementing a to 60 and notice the effect on the graph. It's lowering it. That makes sense because the difference between these two graphs is simply the number of people who've entered the line between 0 and 60 seconds. Both of these accumulation functions are antiderivatives of our original rate function. So they can only differ by the, a constant, and that constant is the number of people who entered the line 
from 0 to 60 seconds. Now if I trace I can see that at x equal 300 there's 226 people who've entered the line. Now that's about 44 less people than the 270 we got for our first answer. Let's do a little check here. I've gone to another page I want to actually find the integral from 0 to 60 of our rate function and see if that accounts for those 44 people. So I integrate from 0 to 60 of r of t dt and our answer should be approximately 44 and there it is 43.5 something. Okay now in our free response question we are also asked to find the total number of people in the line given that there were at the beginning 20 people in line and people were also leaving the line at a constant rate of 0.7 people per second. To answer this question first thing I'm going to want to do is to restore my accumulation function to its original lower limit of integration a equals zero. So I've decrease the parameter a back to zero so we have our original accumulation function and the answer to the question we're looking at will involve the initial 20 people who are already in line plus the number of people who've entered the line that's given by a r of x for any time interval from zero to x and then finally we want to account for the people leaving the line since 0.7 people are leaving for every second we'll just take 0.7 times x and subtract that amount and this will give us the cumulative total number of people actually in the line at any time x alright let's graph this new function and see what we get and there we go. So this function f3 is giving us a running cumulative total of the number of people in the line at any time x. Well that concludes this short video on plotting accumulation functions on the TI Inspire. For other great resources on calculus, please see education.ti.com.